Hello beautiful people, my name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how to's and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. And today we have made it to Cedar Breaks National Monument in Utah. The bike is still making a knocking noise. I had a mild panic attack about it in the Cycleway parking lot. Wow, that is a hell of a reveal. We have made it to camp. I found the no tears. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. The bike is still making the knocking noise, even though I've adjusted the chain. And I'm really scared that it's my gears. Dad thinks it might be valves. I had a mild panic attack about it in the Cycleway parking lot. Wonderful place to have a panic attack. But everything will be fine. For the record, everything is fine with the bike. My transmission is fine. The valves are fine. I end up finding out later that it's just a couple of links in the chain that are a little bit stiff. There was no damage to the bike. Everything was okay. I just wanted to keep this in here because it did affect my trip a bit. And I think it's important for transparency to include moments like this when it is not all fun. <laughs> And it is a little bit scary, but that's okay. The important part is that we keep moving forward. I'm just gonna keep babying it. We're gonna go to Cedar Breaks. Even if I had the cash to take it to a dealership right now, I couldn't I couldn't afford to pay anybody to do anything in, with it. And if it is something bad, it will take more than a month probably to get parts for it. So there's no point in taking it anywhere here. I've already called my parents and warned them that I might need them to come get me if it doesn't get better or if it gets worse. Oh, not a good feeling. I pulled off the plastic to make sure that like my front sprocket wasn't coming loose or anything like that. There's no wiggle or anything in it. The front sprocket's fine. Just had some wonderful food at uh, the All-American Diner here in Cedar City. One of the few places that I have ever been where the hash browns are actually crispy and so good. You know, for a bike that's never stranded me anywhere, I'm really dumb to be upset about it now. <laughs> With your head on your heart, please tell me which way. I did not expect was that Cedar Breaks National Monument is very windy, which is why I haven't really talked to you guys a whole lot. I feel like that intro that I did, I got real lucky with a small break, but it is quite windy here. I spent some time, made a little painting, and I think now I'm gonna head towards camp. I just want to not push it more than I have to to get where I'm going. I mean, on a positive note, I'll get into camp nice and early to make dinner. <laughs> We have arrived to Coral Pink Sand Dunes State Park. 
I have snagged myself a little spot here. I feel pretty lucky. <laughs> Probably has something to do with getting here before seven. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna set up camp, make some food, and if there's time after that, I'm gonna hike so we can go see the sand dunes. First, tent up. While I was making my food, one of my neighbors came over and offered me a couple of organic pears and told me very proudly that they grow them on their farm in California and she was just so, so kind. But in the morning she came over again and asked me if I needed anything and I asked if they already had hot water, I would love some for my tea and she's like, oh, absolutely. So when I came to get my hot water, she made me breakfast. She made me scrambled eggs and toast and they gave me more pears and apples and they were just the kindest people and just, it was so nice. <laughs> Goodbye, coral pink sand dunes. We are on our way to Flagstaff. is a hell of a reveal. camp. I found the no tears. I'm camped right next to them. I will leave their channel down in the description. It has been a long day today and everything is hectic and I found Pete and I found other people and everything is happening. So for right now you guys I'm gonna end this video here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. And question for the end screen crew. Would you set up this giant sunshade at a rally event if you got somebody else to bring it for you? That one, I feel like that's a pretty easy question. I don't know. I'll see you guys later.